Hello and welcome to the Streamers Unite podcast. I am your host, David Loudon, and you're listening to the number one spot to keep up with everything Streamers Unite, video games, stream news, and a chance to get to know us, the people behind the Discord, a little bit better. Joining me today, we have uh, the one and only, the the beanie wearing, hype given, subjected, subjected sin. Sin, how you doing today? I'm, t- <laughs> I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? Good, man, man. You have a good day and everything? Yeah, man. It was pretty good. Oh, awesome, awesome. And then also, we have the one, the only, Little Goku and Nerdy Jarhead. What oh, is Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, definitely Goku. Little yeah. Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how you been today, man? How, how's everything I'm going? I'm chilling, brother. You already know, man. You wake up, murder people on Apex, go to sleep, baby. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, and then... Uh, <clears throat> And joining us for the first time today are brand new freshman mod demonic gunman. What is up, my boy? Howdy, howdy. Uh, nothing much. Glad to be here. So, Dude, how do you feel to be on your first Streamers Unite podcast? Actually, just excited. being new to everything, how does that feel? I, I'm freaking excited. I'm glad I'm part of this community, get to meet all these new people. So I'm okay. excited about okay. it. I'm putting you on the spot. What is one, since you're brand new to the mods, you're brand new to this, what is one fun fact about yourself? Oh, one fun fact. Um, What most people don't know, I was in the Marine Corps, so, for four years. Dang. Explains the weights. Dang, man. Dude, what did you you do in the Marines? Um, Artillery, 0811. Fired big cannons. Hell yeah. 16 miles away, so. Yeah, true. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, bro. That's awesome. Well, thank you so On much the for way. your service. That's dope. And welcome to the podcast, man. Thanks for being here and uh, making this break out today. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, and I don't appreciate Sins or Nerdy Jarhead, just so you know. You guys can, you know. I'm used to it. <laughs> I mean, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. And uh, we also have our producer, Crispy, running the show, uh, as always. And we have Mystic Donkey holding down the chat. Uh, so speaking of chat, if you have anything to say during the stream, please post us questions. We'll do our best to answer them either live on the show while we're running this, or, uh, if it's interesting enough, we might actually spend some time at the end talking about it. So, um, and this is just a reminder to Crispy, please turn down the music. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) you better be Crispy. Hey, for the first time ever, Crispy on the podcast. It's too early Uh, to get crunk, you know? I know, right? Dude, let's, let's start a dance party. I'm totally into that. (laughs) <laughs> uh, so we'd like to welcome you all to episode 5 of the Streamers Unite podcast Where we will be discussing Super Mario's 35th anniversary Twitch Sing going mute uh, Microsoft xCloud uh, Minecraft and IRL And uh, consoles and the console wars are heating up uh, But first we need to start Streamers Unite with a little bit of housekeeping I wish we had like a song or something to play Like da 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 housekeeping Oh <laughs> like a little scene transition for a housekeeping. A jingle. Yeah. <laughs> a jingle. We need a housekeeping. Housekeeping. Huh. I'll okay. make this a jingle. I got you. <laughs> Do it. Jesus Christ. More, the more jingles we this. can insert in this podcast, the better. Like, we need We're going to be jingles. like a morning radio TV show at, the, at, the, at some point. <laughs> I hope so. Everywhere. <laughs> That's the goal. We'll just have, a, just have a stream deck in front of us with buttons we can jam to just like... <laughs> We're here with Nerdy and the Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Get your dirt on and your Dave in. Da, 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 da. Random glass shattering. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's let's get on with the housekeeping. Come on. All right, we're gonna start. Our, we're gonna start housekeeping the streamer of the week. Each each week, our community selects one streamer to highlight that is deserving of the title streamer of the week. You might be saying to yourself, "Well, I'm a badass streamer. How do I become streamer of the week?" The answer is simple: be active in the community, network, and just be an awesome streamer when people come by your channel. This person is selected by the Discord and is up to each and every one of you to pick the streamer each week. Feel free to throw up suggestions in the chat now uh, for next week's streamer of the week. Um, and this week's streamer of the week is Asian Girl G. She's into Call of Duty and Minecraft. She also might catch her in a just chatting session. So, so, so stop by and say hello. Uh, make sure to follow her, all of her socials, and just make sure to, uh, you know, support our streamer of the week so that um, we can just help everyone out. And I think she's like, legit like very close to getting affiliated if she didn't already so uh make sure that that you go check out her channel at least drop a lurk so that we can get her pushed to affiliate if she's not already or just check her out because she's streamer of the week so 
Aww. Shout out to her for gifting five subs just now. Honestly. Did she just gift five subs? Yeah, she, she really did, did. yes. Oh, no way. Dude, yeah, that is so freaking hype. Right Thank you so much for those subs. We really appreciate that. That is so awesome. Um, dang, bro. Dang. Man, I'm, I can't believe that. Shout the heck out. Uh, I lost my document. Hold on. I lost back. my document. <laughs> I lost. My document got the lost. I was so real. I tossed my paper. Dude, no. I was legit, <laughs> man. I got, that got real for just a second. Holy crap. Uh, so Asian Girl Lee, please go check her out. She's amazing. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. And just thank you for being an awesome part of our community. We really appreciate you. Uh, now I would like to highlight this week's streamers that reached affiliate. These people deserve all the glory for what they have achieved. Between their hard work and our community support, they have reached their goals of becoming Twitch affiliate. Uh, those streamers this week are Legend of Troy. You know, the before I, before I continue this list, I want to say we've had two Torch holders this week uh, reach affiliate. So that is also something amazing uh, that our community has done is push through two different people. Uh, we'll talk about Torch Holder a little bit later, though. Uh, so this week's uh, streamers who reached affiliate are Legend of Trey, uh, Dennis, is that it? Dennis19. Uh, Dar Darius Rulaza. <laughs> I honestly am just butchering these names right now. Enzin Trigger and Dang Nova. Uh, we we have them all put up in the chat there. Go give them follows. Go continue to support them. They are awesome. Um, and we just want to make sure that uh, we even though they reach affiliate, they continue to grow. Um, but also the other thing you got to remember is that if you reach Twitch affiliate with us, we are going to put you uh, as hosting in our Streamers Unite channel for the next week so that we we not only help you get to affiliate, but we actually help support you as you continue to grow. Um, so this week, uh, feel free to check out our channel because not only will the streamer of the week be uh, hosted with us, but we'll also have all the people who newly got affiliate hosted with us. So that's that's a pretty awesome thing we do for the community. Um, and last but not least, I'd like to talk about Torch Holder. As you know, our Torch Holder program uh, is where we as a community pick one streamer to fast track them to affiliate. Uh, this week's uh, this week's streamer for Torch Holder is Ray Sonoma. Uh, so we actually have had to, uh, had another Torch Holder in between uh, Legend of Trey and uh, Ray Sonoma, which is Dag Nova. But before we could even get to this week, we affiliated him. I think what did it take three days to get Dag Nova to to affiliate? Two I think days? So. Not even. Didn't. Yeah, we pushed him really quick. So and and the goal is to do that. The goal is to just get through these Torch Holders so that we can get a new one going. So. Uh, this week's, so like I said, this, this week's is Ray Sonoma. He plays Warzone, uh, Monster Train, Minecraft, and a few other games. He's actually a, pretty much a variety streamer from what I can tell. Um, we're working to get this homie pushed to affiliate, so please get those lurks up for him when you see him live. Uh, go follow him now, too, if, if, uh, if you want to help us out with that. Uh, so the quicker you can get this guy to affiliate, the sooner we can pick a new torch. Uh, and the more active you are with Torch Holders, if we see you in there, we're always lurking in there. So if we see you in there chatting or just in the channel lurking, you have a better chance of becoming the next Torch Holder. So make sure that this is this community is all about passing things along. If you want something, you got to be a part of it too. So please just remember that. Um, but yeah, the, the Torch Holder program is one of those things that if you are active in it, we will help you as well. Uh, not that we're not already willing to help you, but it's just one of those things that it will help your chances. Um, so next, uh, I'd like to call about community, talk about a little bit about the community events that are going on this week. Uh, we have our channel point redemption. Did we finish that already? Did that get yes. channel redeemed? Yes. So, uh, sometime coming up in either this week or the next week, we will be playing a scary game, uh, between all the mods. So keep your eye out for that. If you have a scary game you want us to play, please, please, please go ahead and put it up in the chat right now. We have Mystic Donkey kind of keeping track of all that stuff. So, uh. It, we, we're open to anything, man. Anything from uh, Dead by Daylight, which everyone swears is not a scary game. Okay, who it's between not, you three? It's not, it's not why? Not why? Sure. Why? Why is this not a scary game? Nerdy. I mean, because be, uh, be, things like that are, bro, listen, 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 listen. When you're playing anything <laughs> online and competitive, sure, like, the killer is scary if you haven't seen them once. But after you've seen them once, it's like, God, why is he chasing me? Please, teammates, do generators. For the love of God, I'm going to leave if you don't help me. <laughs> like, Obviously, that's... you've never been ripped off a generator from a ghost face who you, had here, who you don't hear coming. That scares me every time. Well, I bro. mean, Michael Myers is probably the scariest killer there, only because it actually plays the music. <laughs> like, he's got the zero terror radius, and then he slaps you once, and it's just... <laughs> yeah, just, oh, just like... get ripped off the generator. Dude, that is scary. Or the first time I mean, you get... Dude, 
I had nightmares for a week when I first started playing that game. Like I would dream about meat hooks and just craziness, dude. It it got to me. See, it got to me. Now make, I'm kind of makes sense. Feels me. The longer you play it, it doesn't get as scary. See, you know, it's it's always you're always you're always uh-huh. just like. You're getting on, man. See, you're getting on, I'm, man. I'm sorry if if you think that's scary. You obviously haven't played like a real scary we game. We gotta such play as, like, like Dead Blast Blast or Visage. Silent Hill. See, something. I was thinking something like something Amnesia. Like that. Dude, Amnesia. Yeah, Amnesia is good. But if you haven't played those games, you'll if you play those games, you realize that Dead by Daylight is not scary whatsoever. Let's just all play Noma, PTSD, Outlast. Though. Though. Very scary. Go ahead, Sense. Okay, so like for like for me, it was like the very first five games I played. Yeah, it was absolutely terrifying because I had no idea what the hell I was doing. And all of a sudden, you just you you hear the heartbeat and you're like, oh god. And you try and hide and you're terrible. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. You don't know what the hell you're doing. You don't know you're leaving red scratch marks behind you. So yeah, yeah at that point, it's terrifying when they come out and like like they hit you from like behind, so you don't even see them. But even then. Like, after the first five games, it's just kind of like, you see the killer, and you're just like, crap. Friday the 13th was the same way, because that game was hella scary oh, when I played yeah. like my first six or seven games. Yeah, it was. I didn't I didn't enjoy that as much, though. I thought it was a little more vanilla than Dead by Daylight, but that was just my own opinion. The and murders are was... definitely not vanilla, but you gotta do the extravagant ones. You gotta, like, take that... somebody to a water fountain. And show well, that game was... Really- definitely like plagued with its own set of problems i mean not to get into it too much but they actually had to shut down for rights you know what i mean so yeah yeah, yeah, uh, there's some things there that that just definitely were a little bit different but um anyways we should probably get back on track and stop talking about scary games please drop drop (laughs) it drop any scary james suggestions down below that that'd be good for the that we can try to play together or that we can you know yeah maybe do something interact with etc exactly exactly so that that's awesome uh, and then actually now we're gonna uh, we're gonna actually start out another community thing we're doing right now is uh, collecting clips. So we all do our clips on on uh, Twitch to help us grow our channels, right? We'll, we'll please 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 start posting them um, into our clips channel because our very own nerdy jarhead uh, is also a whiz at editing and has been putting together an awesome video of clips. One more. Yes! Oh! I won! I won! I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna clip that. Uh. Oh. Uh. Got him. Woo! 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 Yes! Insane. Be planted. Get your sound. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, what is he have to say? Oh, there's zip wine behind. There's zip wine behind. One of yeah, I watch all my videos. I got two in front of me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, behind. No enemies remaining. Oh, no way. Oh, you no way. Clip it. 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 Clip back okay so uh dude nerdy awesome job dude awesome job putting that together uh great job to all the awesome clips out there people who are actually posting clips on our clips channel so uh the goal will probably be to do a new one every week we're going to be start starting to show clips every week of just people in the community being awesome at what they do best which is video games so start posting your clips now so that we can start putting that together and uh and having a, a brand new clip clips for you either next week or the week after depending on uh how well our community does with getting those to us so um all right guys so speaking of clips oh wait 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 i'm, I'm sorry i don't, I don't oh, want to cut you up, off up, um just, just to add to the clip thing uh yes, that was that was a, a lot of clips of like you know some pretty good aces some sweaty plays stuff like that but you know throw something funny in there throw something silly in there your clips are your clips all right the content of the community is the content I, i'll make a montage of whatever it is we have so don't don't be oh well, I'm a casual gamer so I don't have sweaty clips. No, throw whatever it is that you feel like you can throw in there. Throw it in there. I'll, I'll work with it. Trust me. 
We're all like we're all a big community here. We like variety. If it's a if it's you jumping off the map, toss it in there because it, it's <laughs> it's funny. I, yeah, fu- I promise. Fog- even if it's a yeah. fu- stupid fall even if it's guys a fall guys clip or something of you like getting yeah. getting swacked by like a, a handle right into the goo or whatever, throw that in there because that's funny. I, All right, I, will be, I will be submitting a dead by daylight clip for next week. There it is, hundred percent. Right, there we go. Let's go. I'll make sure <laughs> to get a clip of me killing with Syria and Fortnite. <laughs> there you go. All right, sorry to cut you so, off, Dave. Go but ahead. it's not Take just going to be mods; it's going to be everyone. So yes. Um. Yeah, we we want to make sure everyone gets in there, and the the better the clips. The, the better the montages. So uh, <laughs> those are also going to go up on the YouTube page as well, as well as we're going to blast them out on social media. So it'll get, it'll help you get recognition for what you do best, and that's playing games. So uh, and then today, we we figured that we're gonna we're gonna start something new today. We're actually going to do an ad read to get ready for when we actually become a real life podcast and not just a fake podcast. So uh, <laughs> before we start topics, <laughs> before we start topics, I'd like to start off with a little ad read. Uh, today's episode of Streamers Unite Podcast is brought to you by Streamers Unite Discord. Are you sick and tired of the same old follow-for-follow follow Discord? Do you want a place where you can network and actually gain real views in Twitch or YouTube channel? If you say yes to all of this, then come join the Streamers Unite Discord server. We not only offer a place to network, but we also have services. This is very important. We have services like design commissions and tech support. We are a great place to help you reach your goals as a new streamer or meet new people to help you grow your channel once you are affiliated. Uh, so go ahead and click the link in the channel to join us today. And there it is. Mystic put it up too. Thank you so much, Donkey, for putting that up. Go ahead and uh, yes. click in there. Join, join our Discord, man. We're, we're here to help you. This is what this is all about. This is If there's one thing you pull from our podcast today, it's that we're here to help you reach affiliate and network. So... Oh my gosh, we got eight. What is going on in the what chat? Is Five going on? more tier one subs from Asian Girl G. She gave 1,500 biddies earlier as well. Yeah, and another 1,500 biddies. Yep. Stop. This she is where I usually in my channel go, stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't stop. Keep bringing it in. Don't stop. No, Asian Girl G, we super much appreciate that. That is so hype. Uh, congratulations to Pick a Girl's Boy, to Foxcape. To it's guac to Chrissy B plays YouTuber and to Dang Nova for getting their uh, their subs on. Uh, go ahead and say thanks to Asian Girl G, because uh, that is awesome that she did that. And let's see, thank you for the hundred videos. All right, everyone, it is time to move on to topics. Yes. Woo-hoo, topics. Let's go. Right, the meat yeah. of the show. This is why we all are here. We're done with housekeeping. Let's go. All right, and our first topic today is going to be Super Mario. Basically, just Super Mario. They had their 35th anniversary this year and they they just released a ton of super mario news so um i am reading an article from GameSpot. it's super mario 3d all-stars features three fantastic platformers uh it's by gabe gerwin and uh i'm gonna kind of skip down the article and just start talking about super mario 3d all-stars and actually the other things that are coming out with that and then we'll start talking about it okay uh so super mario 3d all-stars uh, include Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. These aren't full-fledged remakes, but they do include enhancements and new features. Super Mario 64 features a higher resolution, rumble-enabled controls on the Joy-Con controllers, and the ability to browse the soundtrack and pick your favorite songs. Super Mario Sunshine includes the same controller and soundtrack features, as well as new 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And Super Mario Galaxy also gets a resolution bump. Uh, one game missing is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Hardcore Nintendo fans are a little disappointed about the omission and the game build built on the formula of its predecessor, but it also includes Yoshi for more of a varied and interesting platforming. Uh, we wouldn't be surprised if this still comes to Switch eventually, uh, probably as a separate release. Super Mario 3D All-Stars is set for September 2018. Release date is available for pre-orders now, but will only be, listen to this, this will only be on sale for six months. This applies not just to the physical version, but to the digital version as well. As a bonus, the original Super Mario All-Stars collection is available today on the Nintendo Switch online shop, or online, like, basically their collected games. Uh, the collection updates the first three games to resemble the 16-bit era style of Super Mario on N- SNES. Let's stop right there and talk about Super Mario All-Stars for just a second, then we'll continue on this article. Um, so let's start out with Sims. Sims, what do you think? Uh, do you have – oh, dude, we just started a hype train. Let's go. Yeah, I was just uh, about to say. Dang, let's keep that up. Level three. Let's go, everybody. Chris so, and uh, Demonic Gunman giving out 500 biddies each. Dang, nice. bro. Thank you, Demonic, for that. appreciate that, brother. Yes, um, sir. No problem. No problem. Uh, since, what do you think of Super Mario 
of this Super Mario Collection 3D All Stars? What's your opinion? And I'm really hyped, but also kind of worried. Okay, so these three games are actually games I played a lot in my childhood, like before I was oh. ever even like 11 years old childhood. Yeah. So um, I've actually beaten and 100%ed all three of those games. And nice. the reason I'm worried about it is because these games aren't full-fledged remakes. And I actually read a separate uh, article about this when... um. We decided that we were going to talk about this because I was actually really interested. And that really worries me because I don't know what that means. Are they going to take out all the mini games? Are they going to take out certain no, the, the like, games are all still levels? intact. No, the games are still fully intact. That's well, not the problem. They're just not enhancing them at all. They just basically no. ported over ROMs and, and made them a little bit more shiny. Well, that's actually not what I read in a separate article. Oh. Well. Yeah. So, like, here's what I'm thinking. In uh, Super Mario Sunshine, there's certain levels, I always call them pinball worlds, where it, it looks like a giant pinball machine, and it's floating in the middle yes. of, like, the clouds. There's levels in the game. Yes, exactly. You Absolutely. know. Absolutely. in the game. I have a feeling those aren't going to be included in this. Interesting. I have a feeling it's, it's going to be the main game the main story and that's it so like each level is also had different versions of the level that you could complete like finding five uh five red coins or something like that i think it was seven actually so maybe those missions aren't going to be included um that that's kind of what i'm thinking it's going to be but other than that considering it's getting a resolution bump and the fact that it's the th honestly the three best 3d mario platformers that have ever come out I actually personally like Super Mario Galaxy a lot more than Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, I just didn't okay. like the design of 2. Fair enough. So I'm I'm personally really happy, but I might just buy it just because it's a limited edition. I don't even own yeah. a Switch. Well, and that's the thing is that you only have six months to buy it. So, I mean, we were talking exactly. before the podcast. Like, a lot of us are just like, hey, maybe we should buy two copies, <laughs> keep one in the package, and then sell it in a year when, like, six months after it's not available and – because, I mean, like, the physical copy. I know, like, probably, honestly, tonight I'm going to pre-order my physical copy of this because I want an actual cart. I don't, don't keep honestly, it for like, six months. Keep it for, like, five, ten years. And honestly. That, that, that it's going to sell for thousands on thousands. Them. Like I said, um, I'm going to buy a copy and keep it sealed. And then I'm going to buy a Switch and just buy a digital edition. Um, heck, that sealed copy, I guarantee you, in ten years – be about yeah, a be good insane. like five thousand yeah, dollars. No, no way, dude. I've, I okay. guarantee it's no. a Mario game. I would it's, put, it, I put a thousand dollars. It's a on. classic. Uh, not e I not guarantee even like, it's gonna be more. Ten years. I bet you. I guarantee not five thousand. Maybe, maybe like three to five hundred sealed. You don't even understand Nintendo, these. Even Nintendo like, Mario games don't go for that oh, sealed. Dude, collectors. You don't bro, understand these Mario play. fans. Yeah, yeah, they'll 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 go a lot for that. They'll go a long way for stuff like that. If you look Guaranteed. up on it, because I, I went on a big, like, binge where I collected Nintendo 64 games, and I, I looked at, like, brand new versions of games, and even those, like, Nintendo 64 games, which are about 20 years out, looking at those, they're still only selling for, like, five dollars $600. They won't hit $5,000. Yeah, 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 but that's because they weren't exclusives. sold for only six months, though. They were sold for years and years and years, and now they just aren't, like, made anymore. But if you have a copy of a game that is still relevant... Which was only sold for six months, and you didn't happen to get a copy, bro. You'll definitely pay like some good change for that. You'll look, definitely look, pay some good change for look that. Look at PT. Um, PT. They took it off the market. You only could download it on PlayStation Four. People are selling PlayStation Four with PT downloaded on it for over a thousand dollars. But that's Just, a whole console that comes with it. Yeah, but you look at the console; it's only four hundred dollars. Yeah, Man, that's six hundred dollars for the game. Even, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for the used yeah, console, you can sell it for 150 to 200. So if yeah. anything, if they're selling the console cheap, then that's about 800 dollars you're getting off of just the game. Yeah, yeah the but, game uh, but saying that 5,000 for that cart, I don't know. Yeah. It's Mario though. It's not. <sighs> yeah, easy. he's got a point. It, You'd be surprised at how far Nintendo fans would go. My brother is one of them, and he spent a pretty pun uh, penny on stuff that I thought was pretty ridiculous. I'm not gonna. By the way, guys. Not to cut I'm you off real quick. Hype Train has a minute left. Let's go, guys. Let's go.
Okay. Hey, I'm, we're at level four yeah, too. I'm just saying oh. 10 years down the road, not like five or something, but like 10 years, 15 years down the road, I guarantee you can get about $5,000 for that thing if it's unsealed. If you have not opened it at all, guaranteed. Yeah, 100%. Just to go on somebody's shelf too. They're probably not even yeah. probably not even gonna be a Nintendo Switch available True. anymore. They're just gonna be like, this is the one copy missing yeah. from my eight million copy collection. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, we just Zizu. Bro, Zizu hey, with the five good good shit, up, Zizu. bro. You Zizu just, got yeah. the train to five, we bro. The, we got the train going. Yes. Let's go. That is hype right there. So um anyways, yeah, I mean We'll see. Only time will tell. Only time For will sure. tell on that. Yeah. Uh, so we'll let's, come uh, back five years later when we're a legit podcast <laughs> and tell you about it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll still be here in five years. When, uh, we'll remember episode five, five years from now. Mark the state. <laughs> when when Demonic is like uh, sitting sitting in his gold Lamborghini because he. Just sold the copy for three mil. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey guys, this is my I'm, I'm gonna be streaming from my Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got a whole stream deck set up, PC in his Lamborghini, just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be alive from my Lamborghini with my G10 internet. Uh, there you anyways. go. Got a 32 anyway. inch monitor that comes down from the ceiling. <laughs> you, you, guys, you guys still got 6G. I've got 11G, dude. Are you <laughs> <Yeah>. screw with me? <laughs> guys, doing? What are you doing back there? All right, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Uh, it's an updated version of the Trip <laughs> BU game. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury will feature additional content, including online cooperative play compared to the previous version, which released on Switch. Uh, February 12, 2021 will also be new Mar Mario or Cat Mario and Cat Peach and BO figures releasing alongside it, available for pre-order now. Uh, do you guys have any thoughts on the new Super Mario 3D World? Did you ever play that on the Wii U? Any, any anything on that? I did, personally. Oh, yeah, I did oh. as well, yeah. I've played pretty it? much every Mario game. Um, oh. I didn't like that one. Oh, okay. It didn't... It felt like they tried too hard to turn something like Super Mario Galaxy into a into standard or Super Mario, Mario Bros. Yeah. game. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's and literally so, what they did. <laughs> the, the, and... One thing I really I, I and I hope they it, it, like improve on this, but movement felt really slow, it was like sluggish, and sometimes even laggy in that game. There's a lot of input delay. What's, like what's you, the you would yeah. turn left, you would turn left, and like Mario would slide right, stop, and then start walking left after like oh, three and a half seconds of you turning the joystick. It was kind of weird. I yeah. don't know. It was very sluggish. Yeah. I, the only the, the only thing I will give it props for. Is I do appreciate that it was trying to go back to the side scroller uh, type, but not only that, it was just like every time when the music would play and there would be like the bop bop, all the enemies would like pop, like it actually. Yeah, they like the jump game. up they would or put dance. like their hands up or jump or oh, dance no when way. the music would yeah, came like up, the which, was, would spin. which is pretty cool. Yeah, they would like spin and the goombas would jump when it goes bop bop, and then like the music would keep playing and stuff like that. So like aesthetically, it was pretty cool, but the game itself. I mean, maybe if they did like a 3D redo of actual Mario, like of the, of the all the, the old Mario 64 we we all know and love, like World One One type stuff, maybe. Yeah. But the 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 Super Mario Galaxy style mixed with side scroller was just kind of yeah. didn't didn't quite do it for you. I think nah, one of the new Super Mario Bros. games actually had a, the original Super Mario Bros. World One level one as the very first level. Oh, did it? <laughs> Yeah, I think it was the very first one for the 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 DS. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But I wasn't, I could a, be I wasn't a DS kid, man. I, I had the Game, Game Boy Color, and I that was may have it. actually been a secret level instead of the first level. I'm not sure, but I remember playing it in one of them. Okay. <laughs> All right, interesting. Uh, and then we got to kind of brush through the rest of this Mario news. You're so good, uh, good. Super Mario Brothers 35. Uh, Nintendo's turning Super Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers into a battle royale. Yes, it basically yes, it basically did. Only available from October first to March thirty first, twenty twenty one. Super Mario Bros. thirty five tasks you with being the last Mario remaining in a battle to the death. As you defeat enemies, you will get extra time and can even attack other players. It requires a Nintendo Switch online membership to play. Um, so I think this is a really weird move. A because they're only making it available for six months, and B because it's just a weird little Nintendo experiment. Um I I don't know if any of you did any of you guys watch anything on this this 30 foot super mario brothers 35 i've never, I didn't I've never even hear seen, about that yeah I, I didn't know that yeah. this was a thing but so honestly, did you ever I play don't blame tetris them for trying it i don't tetris uh 
Tetris 99. Do you guys ever play that? It's kind of like the same vein of that, where it's like you have your screen in the middle, and then you have 35 other screens oh, on the side. Okay. I get and then you. you're yeah, all playing I... through Mario at the same time. And then as you, like, jump on Goombas or do this and that, it'll take that enemy and put it into other screens as it's going on randomly. So as you go on, potentially you're getting more and more enemies in your level. Um, and then you'd have to basically just make it through the game. So I, I think that's pretty crazy. And whoever makes it the deepest or whoever wins, basically whoever wins, for, like, that beats the game first wins. So it could potentially be just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Dude, we just we just did the level five hype train, by the way. We did. No we completed crap. a full level five hype train. I've never Holy seen that happen. Hell anywhere. bro, this is unbelievable. Full level five, dude. No way. Let's go. That's insane. Man. Good it job. Is. Hey, shout out to the community. Thank you guys. Just, yeah, the community is insane, hype, bro. Hey, hey, on, hey Dave. Dude. We do have FaZe Crockpot that said hydrate, so go ahead and show off your mug. Oh, yeah, I've been hydrating oh, the whole go. time. I didn't know we had that. Uh, my Streamers Unite mug available on Teespring. Uh, the link is in the Discord. Uh, hydrate right here. Yes, hydrate. And hydrate again. I don't know, keep hydrating. <laughs> we got we got to make one mug where, like, when you put hot liquid in it, it changes our logos from, from like, our mod channel to the regular channel. <laughs> you mean it changes, it changes, the, uh, it changes the logo like it changes how it... to naked? <laughs> <laughs> Close to naked. <laughs> that Streamers risky. unite NSFW. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's open that not channel. Safe for let's open, yeah, um. let's open that channel. Up. <laughs> uh, crispy, crispy. We need a new channel in Discord. <laughs> not safe for work. Uh, so <laughs> he's on it. Uh, it requires so basically, uh, it's just kind of a weird little thing they're doing. I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm gonna hop on and play it just because it's gonna be free if you have the subscription. So, uh, look for that. Uh, and then I'm gonna skip the Game and Watch. Basically, they're just re-releasing a Game and Watch console with Super Mario on it. Who cares? Uh, I Wait, really what? don't. You don't love Mr. Game and Watch? What? You didn't no, hear bro. this? You didn't hear about this since? So basically, bro, they're releasing. No, 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 no. I'm I'm just saying Game and Watch. Like you can't you can't put you gotta put respect on his name, dog. He is a that's Hold a Smash Bros. On. character right yeah, there. Yeah, I was going to say. Smash He's Bros. one of the most yeah. overpowered Smash Bros. Mr. characters. Mr. Game Watch hits you. Hit, hits, you know, he opens up that pan, gives you the bacon, and then hits you with a nine? Oh, man, you're no. done. Dude, you know I was just about Game to Watch. say the nine. <laughs> Do you know why it's called Game & Watch? Uh, no. Okay, so uh, there used to be a console called the Game & Watch, and it was basically just like a little rectangle thing, and all of the characters... Where like the it was a uh, a clear background and it was just uh, like black LEDs that would yep. light up the characters light up and everything and go like back that. and forth. Which is why Mister Human watches nothing but a like a silhouette. Oh, is that why he's just a two D so, silhouette that walks around? <laughs> exactly because the way that he walks around is exactly what it looks like when the characters walked around gotcha. on the game gotcha. console. So let me hear you uh, get this straight real quick. Did you say that they're releasing the Game and Watch console with the Mario games on it? Yes, but it's going to be an LED screen with I think it's just Super Mario One. I I uh, Super Mario Brothers game as well as the Lost Levels. But it looks so, like the Game and Watch, right? Yeah, but it looks like a Game and Watch. That's awesome. But dude. here's here's so you know why it's really called Game and Watch though? It's because it's not only a game, but it's also tells time like a watch. It's a game <laughs> and watch. <laughs> Look, bro, listen, listen, bro. All I know is that if I'm he serious, slaps you with dude, bacon and a nine, that. you're done. That's all I know about Game and Watch. That's, that's, yeah, that's all that I know. <laughs> game and watch just hit it right on the head with that so that's coming out uh and here to me this is the last thing i want to touch on because i think this is the most interesting thing is the mario kart live home circuit uh perhaps this the strangest bit of news we saw today is mario kart live home circuit lets you use a nintendo switch system to race physical carts with custom courses you can play through a grand prix and unlock new uh new costumes as you race up to three other players it will be available with a mario and luigi set coming october 16th for a hundred dollars other players who can join you locally will need their own vehicles as you can see in the image above uh, you can get creative with actually building your own courses put a cart in here and throw in some paper plates and go nuts did you so do you understand this basically it is a toy with a camera on top of it right and it connects to your switch and it makes a like mario kart track out of anything in your house basically and you got to go cool, through though. different points yeah so you it's mean like physical... the little remote control cars that we had yeah. when we were little 
They are but, like your switch is a remote control car. Yeah. No your way. Is a... And you're looking at it through your switch screen, and it actually shows your living room in real life as the course, or wherever you choose to set it up. So That's and then they have they have like you know fake like digital characters on there, but you can also race your friends in real life with a real cart. It's insane. Oh, if you haven't looked at this, look it up. You really need the video to really I'm, like understand the whole whole concept of it. But it's crazy interesting. I'm waiting for the Mr. Beast version of this, where he pays somebody a million dollars to do this on a, like a live volcano or something. Hey, dude, it, it, could, <laughs> it could definitely happen. I think it's just really interesting gameplay because you can like change your living room into a Mario Kart course, basically, and then you can just make an oval. You can make different tracks, and actually, the game will outline uh, the course for you, and you can actually like. When you get, let's say you get you you throw out ink, it will hit your screen, and on your screen you will basically like the ink will come on the screen. So like all the effects of Mario is happening on your on your Switch screen, but the real thing is going around your living room like a track. That's actually kind of dope. Yeah, I like that. That's nuts. That sounds nuts. Yeah, it's it looks like so. I highly encourage um, checking out that video and. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I have to go and, watch. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, it's really awesome, um, and I'm I'm actually I, I don't know if it's something I'd buy, but I'm very interested to see if it works at all because if this works half as well as they're promising, it could be very, very cool. Um, speaking true. of working, we're gonna switch over to Twitch Sings because it's not going to be working soon. Uh, I'm gonna read here an article from actual Twitch itself. Uh, I don't think they they do not have a. They do not have a author on this because I think it's just an announcement from Twitch. So, uh, as you look to the future, we have decided to in invest in broader tools and services that will help support and grow the entire music community on Twitch. Because of this, we have made the difficult decision to close Twitch Sing starting January 1st, 2021. The community has inspired us with their talents and passion, and we thank you all for what you've given to Twitch Sings over the years. So what happens now? We are grateful for all the streamers and singers who have contributed to the Sings community, making it one of the most inspiring groups within Twitch. Today, we are releasing our entire backlog of over 400 new songs and hope you can continue to enjoy Twitch Sings for the next few month, months. On December 1st, we will begin removing S Sings videos and clips per our contractual obligation. On January 1st, the game will stop working. Looking ahead, we're excited to share more about the future of music on Twitch and how we're working to make Twitch the best place to bring you closer to artists and music you love so my first question on this and we'll throw this out to you guys is do you think they are shutting this down because it's not successful or do you think they're shutting it down because their contracts with the songs are up go ahead nerdy no it's definitely contracts it's the same thing with uh with like rock band and guitar well no rock band mostly rock band um because on my copy of rock band i have like the whole red hot chili peppers album and a few other uh, a few other artists and stuff like that, but if you go into the store right now and try to buy them, their rights have already like gone d gone away. So you can't. I like if I lose my copy, I cannot get anything that I have again. And I think the same thing is kind of happening here, but they're not renewing. Like they can't renew their their gallery. Period. Not like those yeah. songs that they have. Like I don't think they can renew any of them because of yeah. maybe some weird rights things and some weird DMCA uh, loops that they'd have to jump through to, you know, to get things to work. So they're probably just going to step back and work on it behind the scenes rather than trying to keep up a broken Twitch things and a broken staff working yeah. half and half. They're just going to put all their, all their efforts into just making it work so they can reopen it and it'd be smooth rather than a bumpy road. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, demonic, you have any thoughts on this? Uh, no, I can, I completely agree with Nor um, nerdy jarhead on that whole entire thing. It's just their con their contracts are up. They probably don't want to pay people anymore to keep it up, or they're just not getting enough, I guess, so to say, business into it. So, um, but I everything that Nerdy Jarhead said, completely agree with. Yeah, it just I don't know. It seems like one of those things where it's either like they're jacking up prices for the rights, the rights are no longer available, or they're not getting enough people in which they think it's worth paying another renewal for. So I'm assuming think, they're going to see how they can maybe market it better before they continue spending money on it, which is perfectly fine. I mean, I understand that from a business think, standpoint. It does but suck a, that. Isn't it a free, free thing? Yeah, I don't think it's you have to pay for this. No, no. Well, well, I mean, but they, they, they probably have to pay for the rights, though, is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, yeah. they are paying for the rights. Absolutely. So yeah. they might not but. be getting enough traction from people watching Twitch things or participating in Twitch things. 
and for see, it to I be thought worth it. Was it. Fairly popular, and like I think this is a slap in the face to the Twitch Sings community when they go, "We are grateful for all the streamers and singers who have contributed to Sings community, making it one of the most inspiring groups within Twitch." If they're that inspiring, why are they shutting it down? Like to me, I, that's, that's just like word salad to cover their. That's ass. the sucky part. You're taking away some of the people's. Um, I mean, but money. You could say the same thing about Mixer, money. though, right? You know, the people who are like big on Mixer. They oh, just kind of. Well, we, we just kind of got the short end of the stick. We saw it. Well, I mean, yeah. We, we, we're all we starting over right now on Twitch. Them, too. For sure. But, but like, the very few people who were actually massively big on Mixer got contracts somewhere else, either dealing with Facebook gaming or Twitch. There really, really wasn't that many people on Mixer in itself. But they still, a lot of people yeah, yeah, still build their community. But the medium there. people who are on yeah. Twitch scenes built their whole community on musical content or singing, and now they got to jump into like a game category or just ca chatting category. And well, there's nothing they can do. Because yeah. all no, no, no. Not, like, like they, they can't games, use like, period is what I'm saying. Yeah, so they, they essentially have to burn their channel and restart yeah, their yeah. channel. Absolutely. Which exactly. it's kind of the same thing that happened to the middle ground people on Mixer, if you think about it. The the people who who, you know, had enough that it was okay, but didn't matter enough to the site to get a contract or whatever. They didn't have enough clout or enough pull to get somewhere, you know, and blow right back up. You know, and that really sucks yeah. for those active members for sure. Um, but I I would have to assume, because I haven't heard anything nasty or bad or Twitch things is this or that. I just have to assume from a business standpoint they kinda had no choice. You know? Yeah. As far as like things that were going on contractually, because it even says that they're gonna like their clip, like people's clips are gonna have to be rem like they're they're removing all the Twitch things clips and yep, and stuff and all that. Like so, I'm I'm assuming it's just it, it's 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 just way too. Uh, it, it got caught in the mix with people trying to enforce the DMCA thing, and somebody was like, "Well, what about Twitch things?" And now they're have a whole like, "Well, I guess yeah, what about Twitch things?" And now it's a whole mess here. And I I, I don't know. Pe people are just getting kind of the you know the short end of the stick because twitch randomly inf enforces rules when it when it so pleases and now twitch things is getting yeah. the it's getting true because it's not exactly they like the entire Wait, go community's Finn. gotten shut down yeah. say that again Finn. i said i mean it's true because it's not like the entire osu community has gotten shut down yeah and yeah well, exa exactly i I, th I think twitch starts um, enforcing the rules when they start getting legal action towards them. Yeah. Well, opinion. even with the DMCA stuff, that a lot of people are still listening to music live on their streams. They're just going back after the fact and muting them, just like Facebook is yeah. doing. So it's not, I mean, they're not like going into channels that are playing, you know, that music and just shutting it off. They're they're letting the, 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 the streams continue, and then once they're over, they just go and they mute either part of the stream or the whole stream. I mean, I can't, I, I, I can't say that that's good for business either. If you're a streamer, and you have to mute your whole stream after you get off. No, it's not at all. And you know, so yeah. I think that's why a lot of people are turning to the the DMC, you know, the the DMC free music. But yeah. um, at the end of the day, people still want to listen to popular songs on their channels because that's what's popular. That's what gets them views. Right. So of course, of course. Not Since to mention, not every. I was just gonna say, not to mention, not everybody wants to listen to the same. Bum 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 for the next six hours. Yeah. While they're exactly. streaming. Well, there's some good music out there. You just gotta find it. I mean, me personally, I've there's... reached out to artists online. Uh, I was gonna say there's actually a lot of people on music. Twitter that will yeah. let you use their stuff to. Um, I got added to a pretty decent community. I don't wanna. I'm not gonna shout because I'm not gonna shout them out because I don't know. First of all, I don't know if it's okay with them, and second of all, it's, I don't know if it's okay with us. But um. Yeah. They, uh, they, you know, they, they kind of go around and they look at their, you know, uh, smaller creators or they put out, you know how they put out the post where it's like, oh, drop your Twitch below and I'll follow you or whatever. They do kind of like yeah. that, but they'll do it for their music and they'll be like, drop your Twitch below and I'll give you like exclusive permission to use my, uh, right. my, you know, non-copywritten tracks or whatever. So people are trying to help out. Artists are trying to help out when they can. Yeah. Uh, for and sure. It's better but for it, the artists too. It's just, yeah, the it is. it's, it's just unfortunate them. that it's not the, uh, you know, it's not the music that you want to sing along to. It's, no. it's good music, but it's either n no vocals or you've never heard it before. So you kind of can't like well, YouTube, YouTube and, and SoundCloud also have a lot of just DM, DMCA oh, yeah, 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 free yeah, yeah. music. They, they, they have a lot of non copyrighted music. You just got to go for look sure. for it. Even so, Spotify does to be. Yeah, so, Spotify has some pretty good playlists as well. Yeah. I'd like to touch up on something going on in the chat right now because I actually feel like it's a really great question that uh, kind of, yeah. you know, touches on this. Um, Ein's Trigger asks, how exactly do music streamers like musicians get through DMCA? And um, 
a streamer screen in the United States, so they can only use covers and their own originals for their streams. That's not 100% true. Because when I was reading the DMCH strike thing, you can't even do covers. You can't do covers, no. Yeah, uh, I have a covers. channel That's... we're doing. I have I a channel about point redemption thing on my thing on my uh, thing like sing a Disney song and I can't sing more than thirty seconds of a Disney song because then I'll get my channel muted by Facebook. I or remember something. that. Yeah. But however, yep. you can do original songs because that is your content. Technically, you own the copyright to it, so they can't really say anything about that. Yes. Now, what you can do is if you do the song. But you make the song your own. Like, completely make it your own. You're not just doing a cover. You made your own variation of the song. For instance, uh, Fall Out Boy's Beat It compared to Michael Jackson's Beat It. That though, like, It's the same song, but they're wildly different. So if you do just, something like that... Just go like back in time that, and create the song. Yeah, go back... Mm -hmm. Yeah, look what Jar, uh, Jarhead said. <laughs> I mean, 200 IQ, Obviously. man, you got the big place. Uh, but if you do something like Brown that, that that's okay. But... It, if you're just going to do like a cover and try and make it sound like as normal as possible to the original, they have problems with that. Why? I don't know. <sighs> but when I looked into the Money. actual details of it, we're in the stream and talked to him on the streamer's almost partner. Wait, what? Money. Oh. Just can't play the music in the background? So per performance no, of a song owned no, by he, someone else even, with even if you sing it, live performances in your Twitch stream. If you do perform a cover song in live Twitch stream, please make a good faith effort to perform the song as written by the songwriter and create all audio elements yourself without incorporating instrumental tracks, music recording, or recording elements owned by the others. I and that's probably confused. how the DJs get away with it too. It's true. Uh, oh, so because it's transformative because they have like a board and they're mixing sounds they're together. Mixing. And stuff exactly. Like that. They'll like exactly. do the whole thing themselves, including the drum beats and everything. I mean, that's kind of weird though, because like I sang, I sang like uh, "Faithfully" by Journey, and my whole vod got muted for like 20 seconds of that song, mm -hmm. which is, I don't, I mean, I didn't have it playing. I just, I just sang it. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I don't really. I mean, it's. I feel like it's a case to case basis too, because Switch likes to do that thing where they have rules and then they don't. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Oh yeah, That's why I was saying it's when they get legal action is when they make up these rules yeah. and all that. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't know so. which one, which one really works there, but I would say just to be careful, please just use non copyrighted music and, and it makes everything easier. just stay just stay way on the far safe side. Don't don't tread on that line because they will not hesitate. To uh, to make something Man. up about you. Unfortunately, it is it's the world. That's how it is. Not to mention, yeah. if you have originals and you're on stream and you want to play music, by all means, broadcast your music. Get it out there, man. Let people Fellow see. Fellow SoundCloud you rappers, no longer do you have yeah. to hand out your mixtape and say, "Listen to this." Just play the Walmart it. parking lot. <laughs> hey, spe speaking of uh, streaming music uh, and streaming in general, uh, Microsoft reveals more details about its Netflix for gaming services launching September 15th. This is a cloud on CNBC uh, by Ryan Brown. Brown with an E. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, so Microsoft announced Tuesday it will be launching its Netflix cloud-style gaming service on September 15th as part of its $15 per month subscription bundle. That's a deal right there, by the way. The company initially revealed it would be making its xCloud streaming platform a free add-on to its Xbox Games Pass Unlimited service last month. Xbox Games Pass Unlimited, which costs $15 a month, is the firm's top subscription product and gives gamers access to a catalog of games on its Xbox One console and Windows 10 PCs. A beta version of Microsoft's cloud gaming software will be included with the Xbox Game Pass app starting on September 15th, allowing users to jump into the game for from their smartphones or tablets. Not app, not Apple, by the way. Just Android. Yeah, Android uh, the apps, only. Just Android phone. only. Uh, the apps will only be available on Android devices and in 22 countries, including the U.S., Canada, Britain, and South Korea. Uh, Microsoft said it will be coming to PC2, but there's no release date for that yet. Uh, players will be able to choose from a selection of over 100 games at launch. Microsoft didn't reveal all the titles that will be available, but shared an initial list of games including Destiny 2, Gears 5, Grounded, Halo 5, Minecraft Dungeons, and the upcoming title... Tell me why. Let's just stop right there. First ain't off, nothing ain't, ain't nothing about it. Heartache. God. God Tell me why. Yeah, it's the in sync horror game. Uh, where? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so 
the interesting thing that I that popped out to me right away is this is not available in Japan. And I think Japan is the market they're really trying to crack, and I think this would be a great way to crack into it. So uh, that's one thing that jumps out to me. The other thing is, is this is actually really pro-gamer. This sounds amazing to me. Um, I think making your games available anywhere is is awesome, uh, and especially for $15 a month, you can just hop on and play any of your games that you – let's say you're just playing it on your – uh, Xbox, and you're like, oh, crap, I got to go to a doctor's appointment. You can go play it in the lobby at your doctor. You know what I mean? You don't have to yeah. stop gaming. Um, and then the third thing that, that jumps out to me is Apple Apple are a bunch of D-bags because uh, they are just not allowing Xbox to have their service on there to compete against their uh, Apple Arcade. So, yeah, so Xbox let's jump countered in. that with just keeping them out of this yep. entirely, yeah. which is – or Microsoft, yep. rather. Which is which is an epic gamer move, hundred percent. So, what are your thoughts? Let's just start with uh, Jarhead since you're already kind of digging into uh, this. For, for sure, for sure. Well, f- for, um, I do see pros and cons, um, because I like to, I just like to be in the middle ground. I like to be the middleman, devil's advocate, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, like you said, it is nice. You know, you don't have to stop your game, stop your progress, whatever. If you have to go do something, you have to go somewhere. Maybe you just gotta go cook something in the kitchen real quick, and you don't want to hop off because you're like in the middle of a good round or something. Bam, hop it onto your phone. Now. The implications of that kind of scare me because parents like to use gaming as parenting, and now their kids don't have to be in their room to play their games if they have this, which is, to me, a little bit of a scary thought because yeah. I don't want to say all parents for sure, but like some people just kind of like shove a phone in their kid's face and they're just like, play this or like watch SpongeBob or something. Yeah. And now they can just play their game anywhere and have their phone like in their face a million 24-7, which doesn't... I mean, and I know not everybody's going to do it, but that seems a little scary to me because there's already a lot yeah. of technology, uh, inclu- like, in, you know, inclusivity when it comes to little kids, and I isn't, feel like this would worsen that. Isn't that, that the some... case already, though, with iPads and mobile gaming being as big as it well, is in most kids? Well, yeah, well, yeah, but, yeah but, but, but mobile gaming is, was you know, is like if that kid doesn't like Fortnite, then that then whatever. Or if that kid doesn't like Plants vs. Zombies, then whatever. But now this kid's gonna have, like, Destiny 2 and Gears 5, and I saw my cool streamer playing this yesterday, so I wanna play this while I'm walking everywhere always, forever, possibly. Like... Uh, I think that's gonna be a problem no matter what, though. I mean, like, because kids just play what's available to them. They don't necessarily play Gears of War. Well, it's not their fault, which is why I didn't... I'm not blaming the children, Um, and and that's that's the the worst part, is that it's really not the children's fault. It's, It's the replacement of parenting that uh that bothers me with the implication of this yeah because i'm gonna feel bad I, for I, the I, kid I that gets his phone his controller eat it out of his backpack when he tries was, to take it to school and show to off because he's gonna want yeah he's gonna want to take his you know his brand new psp to school in 2006 <laughs> and get it stolen from him and he's I'm gonna, gonna be, come I'm home and be like mom my 600 dollars iphone was taken from me because i was playing gears 5 and somebody snatched it from me yeah, you know? no, I feel that. I feel that. But oh, I mean, all these kids have their phones anyways. I, I don't know. I'm not too worried about the kids because the kids are going to be kids. They're going to be doing what they want to do anyways. I I think it's just the, the cool thing about this is how pro gamer it is compared to like what PlayStation. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah. For, for gamers like, and stuff like that, it's definitely sweet. You can just kind of switch platforms on, on a on you the know, fly. On the fly like that. Yeah, that's definitely sweet. I also want to kick this. Let's kick this over to the demonic governor with this question. Uh, what do you think of this compared to Stadia? As far as that's concerned, um, I personally don't like the controller aspect of the whole Xbox. You got to bring a controller with you in your back pocket. Come on, yeah, um, I think Come they on. should. You got We all got fanny packs. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> I I personally don't, but I I don't like the whole add-on to you have to have a controller. I make it a little more accessible, but um, compared but to the, the Google Stadia. The idea is to bring the Xbox experience with you, and the controller is part of that experience. That's true, but it goes back to you don't need to bring your Xbox everywhere you go. You need to at least live a little. Um, you see? see? the world of how it is. <laughs> Listen to the Marine. Um, <laughs> thank you. You're not, though. You're just bringing a controller. It's not that big a deal. It's like one of, you um, know, it's like this big. Yeah, you're bringing – you're going to be like this the whole entire time. Yeah. Yeah, people are like this. But now you're gonna be like this, and you're just gonna be. What's, oh, what's wrong with that? Uh, with the control, <laughs> I don't. I'm not hearing <laughs> anything. Of I'm not liking. You're right talking now. to. You're talking to someone who <laughs> likes going backpacking, likes going hiking as a hobby. Um, other than, other than playing games, I love playing games. But 
I think games are for home when you're at home um, or at, when you're at a friend's house. You don't need to be playing it out in the world. Um, I I would love to see the statistics of deaths that happen after this thing comes out in busy cities like New oh, York. Oh, so. come on. And people are just walking down oh. the street. Back to the Apple, back, back to yeah. the iPhones. And, yeah. No, no, no. Well, no, no. But, but, um, I mean, but look at the stuff that happened with Pokemon Go where people were just walking exactly. in the trespassing areas and stuff like that, and they were just like, Getting, you know, walking around and certain things like but this all, all people take back to, it. like what I said, walking they're already doing that. Yeah. They're already but, doing that. Back, but why add to it? <laughs> but back to your question you asked. But back yeah, to the question. Entertainment. <laughs> um, but back to the question. Um, I, I think. I book it, and got ran over. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> but I think this will do um, so much better than Google Stadia. So much better. Yes. Uh, it's Microsoft, it's Xbox. It's already created a name for itself. Google came into the market without really a name for itself in gaming. Um, but Microsoft's there. As much as I hate Xbox and uh, I love PlayStation 4 a lot more, don't at me, don't hashtag me. Um, <laughs> other than that, I think it's going to do great um, compared to Google Stadia. Uh, it's going to do amazing. Stadia's already on its deathbed. You yeah, it's, I, it's, I think it's, it's, it's already on its deathbed, period. It. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to do great. It's going to boost sales up for Microsoft, for Xbox alone in itself. And it's it's going to do great things. It's good that they're coming out with over 100 games when it first comes out. And it's it's great that it's only $15 a month. Um, it's cheap. So yeah. Chances know. are if you already have an Xbox 2, you're already paying for Games Pass Unlimited. Yes. So exactly. it's something you're going to get for free. Which exactly. is even more consumer friendly. Instead of being like, oh, hey, $5 more on your Games Pass Unlimited, they're just going, you know what? Here you go, have it for already being Xbox fans. And I think that, like I said, every aspect of this that I can see is nothing but consumer friendly. I haven't seen, seen or heard one bad thing for the consumer in this uh, I don't, at I all. Don't know, I, don't man. I feel like this is the start. Have you ever seen Wally, bro? I feel like we're all going to end up in these gamer chairs so floating around with no bone structure anymore because we got, we got Xbox on the, on the go. Let's go. See, I'm not, I'm not, like I can tell you problem. right now, I'm not going to get this. I, I, like I said, I'm not an <laughs> Xbox fan. I think Microsoft should stick to computers and their software and stay away from the gaming um, community. But that's my opinion. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, to, 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 be fair, from, to be fair, Halo, Halo and Gears have been pretty something monumental with. games, so I won't, I won't fault them on that. I just don't appreciate that Halo and Gears came out and they were like, you know what we could do? Make a Halo Nine, and a Gears Eleven. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Easy. No Same new idea. Say, Just keep it going. It hasn't died yet. Nobody's complained. <laughs> Charles, <laughs> don't you dare suggest another video game. Put another Halo out right now. <laughs> <It's> like, <you laughs> know. Hey, maybe maybe we can have Ori doing something else for a while. Who knows? Uh... <laughs> you know, but oh, I, that, that's that's where I'll definitely agree with Demonic on it, because because their their gaming scene is kind of. It's kind of weak, man. It's kind of weak, man. You know, they, they got their two games that they kind of ride. I mean, they, they do have other exclusives that are possibly coming out. You know, we don't know the future. But hey, Halo ah, was yeah. great up till three. And afterwards, it's done. It's I dead. mean, everything has its timeline. Everything's great. But 15 years? I mean, even Call of Duty's getting dry. Yeah, it's like Call of Duty's the same you know thing over and over again. Yeah. So it's, it's, <laughs> well, well, speaking of games that are getting dry, uh, Minecraft... <laughs> Okay, so speaking about this the game, driest game on the planet, uh, oh, Minecraft. I just, set the, I just set the chat <laughs> off with that one. Uh, Minecraft adds PSVR support this month, which I think is pretty good. Oh. Uh, this has been this is an article from the PlayStation blog. It is written by Roger Carpenter. Uh, this has been a much requested and much discussed <laughs> amongst our Minecraft player community. Player players, but. I can finally say something officially about it. Yes, we are bringing PlayStation VR support to Minecraft, and we are doing it very soon this month. In fact, uh, yes, that soon. Wow, this article is very weird. Uh, using manga fo Manjo folks have been brushing to say something about this for ages. PSVR support has been actually been a planned PS4 feature since we got the thumbs up from Sony to bring access, uh, cross-platform play, and the Bedrock version to PlayStation 4. Here... Uh, there has never been question of what we just want. So I guess I will be wanting to know more details. Wow, this is a 
bad article. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, so let's just stop right there because I cannot. This this is split up in a really weird yeah, way. Yeah, it's kind of like weird. It, the pictures but, are it like is. really weird. Okay. It plays, but it's all good. But so here's here's my thing that I think is most interesting about this is that Minecraft is a Microsoft game. It is owned by Microsoft, yet they are putting this feature and a lot of support behind a PlayStation 4 peripheral and the PlayStation 4 in general. So let's kind of use that as a leap off point. Well, I mean, to be fair, they'd be silly not to. And I mean, how many do you know how many people have rebought Minecraft? I'm sure somebody spent a hundred dollars just rebuying Brilliant. Minecraft. Yeah, like ev like every person who actually actively plays Minecraft has bought the copy like seven times, bro. Like Minecraft is just Minecraft. It is it is locked. It is uh, locked. In, yeah, in I, it's like video game stature, bro. It's legendary. So if they were like, sure. yeah, you can't play this anymore on PlayStation. You got to come to Xbox. They would be locking out so much of their money for no reason. But so bringing I, this I, special DR feature to PlayStation, I think, is very interesting that they're putting that much backing behind a Sony product. But of course, product. So of course they would. I because then because like... then people who don't even play it might just enjoy VR and might get Minecraft oh. because they can do it in VR now. Since. I personally feel like it's a really good idea because PS4 didn't have the Bedrock Edition for a very, very long time. And that kind of killed it for the PlayStation community because everybody being able to do cross-platform and having that, like, really fancy commercial where they, like, built all of the logos for all the different platforms, but the PlayStation one wasn't there, that kind of yeah. hurt. Especially because, yeah. like, yeah. I, like that hurt me personally because I was playing Minecraft a lot at the time. And when I saw that, I was just kind of sitting there like, I'm the only Minecraft PlayStation player I know. And I had a lot of friends who played Minecraft, I, so they all got I, to I, get on that bandwagon. I was sitting there left out, and I was kind of like, well, that sucks. So I feel like due to the fact that it took them so long to get Bedrock Edition on PlayStation, I feel like this is kind of a good way to, like, make up for that. I can tell you right now, one, Dave, I don't like your um, attacking Minecraft. Don't appreciate <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> I do. do I did it. admit it. I said um, that I get shit for it. Two, um, since I played uh, Minecraft since it came out on PlayStation, I want you to know I've had Minecraft since it's been only $5 <laughs> on the freaking computer. Um and I actually, you can ask Asian Girl G in the chat, I actually re-downloaded it um, for the first time ever. Um, I didn't have to buy it again, but I've, I've been That's there cool. since the beginning. But other than that, I don't appreciate you attacking my Minecraft. <laughs> it's a relaxing game. It's it's not for fun. It's just to relax. <laughs> Get away from that first-person shooter. You know, your so-called horror game of Dead by Daylight. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. horror why don't you just go play some Tetris then? You know what I mean? Or play some. Uh, hey, play Tetris something. is a nice game too. <clears throat> Listen, bro, if you ever heard the Minecraft piano, you, you could just stand there. You don't even got to play the game. You just yeah. built I've fallen asleep to that game's music Listen too to many music. times. Yeah. 100%, dude. Oh, man. I've honestly, to be real, I've never been a Minecraft fan. I just never understood it. I never got it. I never. I, I really guess it's because I never play played it. it. To relax. The future is now, old man. Minecraft, okay. Minecraft is okay. Minecraft is literally the only game I do not rage at. I can tell you that right now. It's the only I, game. Oh, I, you no, know I've seen no, people rage agree. at Minecraft. One hundred. Yeah. I cannot agree with that. Yeah, at I've all. seen some rage at Minecraft. Uh, I'm sorry. Play I play, play hardcore mode. No, some, some people play hardcore and like get you know pushed in lava and that's the end of the server. You got to restart the whole server. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's even so worse when, like, you go out your back door, like, because I don't know many people that do this. I typically create, like, actual houses. I have a front door and a back door. Front door is always fine. But for back some reason, <laughs> back door creeper, man! You yeah. don't put up enough torches. What are you talking about? Put up more. I have torches, glowstone, <laughs> and redstone lights. I'm weird about my Minecraft. I make doorbells and uh, uh, street lights, like, outside my door. sense to me. Like if yeah, you see I, uh, I could tell you right now, if you look server, at some of my I don't know, servers, I mean, it's... if you look at some of my servers on PlayStation, I build fortresses with multiple, yeah. I like, yeah, and yeah. this is survival mode. Um, 
That's I'd, always the I'd, best time. I do everything. Like I put in bells, I put in doorbells, I put in pressure plates, TNT traps, only certain entrances that I can go through. Um, Jeez, escape exits. Style. So like <laughs> shit like that. Um, I, do I don't too. ever, I don't oh, ever have problems. I, I totally feel it unless him. I go down there. Like in a mine shaft awesome. or something. That's really I mean, it because I light up the whole world. I call it my beacon of yeah. hope because yeah, when you great. get lost in the world, all you got to do is look up in the sky and you see my fucking fortress and you just go towards it because it's so lit up. <laughs> you, I mean, it's the same thing that people get from Roller Coaster Tycoon and, you know, civ- civilization games and stuff like that. People, people just like having their game in their corner yeah. that they can play. But Minecraft is yeah. so simple but so complex that you can hop on and play for six minutes or create a whole 3,700-hour cop- copy of the City of Rome or something. If, <laughs> if you felt Are like, any you of you know? guys planning on checking out the <laughs> VR copy of this at all? Does that interest you? Anybody Honestly, here? yeah, man. I'd, I'd love to turn around and see a creeper and smash my VR headset in the first three seconds of the game. That'd be sweet. If I had a PlayStation VR, then sure, what but I'm going to wait till the PS5. <laughs> So um, I've played VR before in horror games, and I've, I'll do the exact same thing of draw here with you. <laughs> if I turn around as a creeper there, I'm going to throw my headset off my face it's just because it scares the crap out of me. Dude, so, VR, I'm still VR and Beat Saber. Most relaxing game ever. Beat Saber. Personally, Beat Saber I relaxing? Heck yeah. <laughs> what? No. Heck yeah, let's go. That's exercise. That's not relaxing. Dave, Dave, you're, Dave you're a strange creature, man. I, 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 yes. I doubt your humanity. I think you escaped from Area 51 when they raided it. Uh, oh, my Lord. You're a great <laughs> man. You're a great Please don't man, say that Dave, again. But Please don't say that on. again. I might, they might come for me, so you got to be careful. <laughs> what you say that. This is a public thing. You can't just be <laughs> accusationing, okay? <laughs> That's not even a word, and I'm using it. <laughs> Accusation. See, Accusation. I don't know if I would buy the PSVR headset just to get this, especially when they're about to add um, PC compatibility to the... Or yeah, rather, they're good. about to make it to where you can use the, your Steam library on the Oculus Quest. Oh, yeah. Which, it's I'm gonna... sorry, but if you can just get the, Ocul- like the Oculus Quest if, after getting everything for PSVR, would cost you about an, uh, an extra $100. So you get $400, you get a much better headset for your VR... And then you just connect it to your Steam library, and you like, yeah. you can play Minecraft VR there. So, I personally would go with that option, just because I've used the Quest and I've used PlayStation VR, and I personally am not a fan of PlayStation VR. It is not optimized properly, and they should have put a lot more effort behind it before they released it. I feel like it was it's thrown still out as a cash grab. Extremely popular. PSVR. It is. And I think they did put a lot of time and a lot of thought into it because honestly, PSVR is what is making VR take off so much. It has the most units sold. Uh, it is a very popular console. It's what pushed everything at the time that it did. If you remember, it was one of the first headsets out the door. Yeah. And that's why it's wrong. But the only that. reason that that is the case and the only reason those statistics exist is because the fact is that it's cheap and available. Yes. But that's what make, that's what drives the genre forward, is what I'm saying. You're not wrong, and of course we have to appreciate PlayStation for that, but for somebody like me who can't stand, like, weren't we just talking about how I didn't like a Super Mario 3D World because of the, the movements? Yeah. Like, for some, like somebody like me who can't stand things like that in a video game, I, yeah, I, but I, I mean, just, to, I can't to a see myself. On, on Christmas who sees a, 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 the super, a, a futuristic Tron headset under the tree, he, he doesn't care. True. <laughs> He's just chilling. He's just chilling with his that. PlayStation VR headset. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of of uh, my, you know, Minecraft being an Xbox property, uh, Xbox Series S microphone. <laughs> I know, right? My transitions today are just on I, point. I feel like on that point. saved you because you almost said microphone <laughs> instead of Microsoft. But uh, you know, was... <laughs> I I'd say I say lots of stuff. Hey, you know what I haven't done today? Botched numbers. I've said no, every single number fair. correct, but. Maybe fair I purposely enough. picked. Maybe not, but you took a bunch of people's names and you threw them in a sausage cracker. <laughs> <laughs> you made a sweet Cosmo with those. I'll tell maybe you that. These people need less complicated names. That's all. I, is it my fault or is it their fault? You know, that's all uh, I'm saying. Thank you for subbing. I don't know. All I know is that we're probably eating an alphabet bratwurst tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I am having Believe bratwurst I'm, tonight. Just so you know. I believe I'm having chicken. Oh, uh, nice. Xbox Series S Microsoft confirms price and release date. Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft has confirmed that it will release the second next-gen console after a leaked prompt to it to 
prompted it to unveil the Xbox Series S. You know, now I'm messing stuff up. Uh, it said the machine would be the smallest Xbox ever. The firm's UK, US, and French Twitter accounts are now amongst to have subsequently confirmed local launch dates of November 10th. Company uh, watchers have said that the advertised price is significantly lower than it had been expected. Uh, Microsoft has said that the machine is set to cost 250 uh, euro or uh, $299. That is uh, 50 more euro than the lowest price version of the con of the firm's existing Xbox One range. The company has yet to give a launch date or price for the larger and presumably more powerful Xbox Series X. Beyond a photo that has appeared to show the larger air vent on the Xbox Series <clears throat> Man, I can't read right now. Beyond a photo that appears to show a larger air vent on the Xbox Series S's side, the Microsoft has yet to reveal exactly how the console will differ from its larger sibling. But there is some, there's been some speculation about it. Only running digital downloads rather than discs, having less powerful graphics cards, and therefore being unable to run some games at higher resolution and be unable to show off some lighting effects and have less internal storage. Uh, the move might help Microsoft woo consumers who might otherwise wait for the price of an Xbox Series X and a PlayStation 5 machine to fall before deciding which platform to adopt. Uh, the Xbox Series S is, in my view, uh, represents a great value compromise in the world of ever-increasing costs of cutting-edge technology, comments Adam Campbell, founder of POC in Play, an organization that prompts people of color working in the gaming industry. It will be, it could be revealed winner of the average gamer and average and and an average against Xbox main rival. Uh, Sony has previously said it plans to sell a version of the PlayStation 5 without a disk drive, but has yet to show how much they will cost. Um, and this was an article actually from BBC News, uh, written by, it doesn't say. It's <laughs> just written by BBC <laughs> News. <laughs> Maybe they put it at the end. No, they didn't. So yeah, written by BBC News, everybody. The giant entity that gives us news. Uh, so yeah, let's just, start with that the xbox series s what do you guys think do you think it's do you think it's <clears> worth <throat> the value do you think it's just a no an xbox um no, i think it's i think it's great that they're doing a cheaper console for the people who can't afford the higher end console but if you look at the specs of it you not you can't play 4k on it um at all um i, I have a problem are, with are no you disc sure? drive because i know that the um, current xbox can do 4k yeah, yeah, but, but that's Xbox that smaller one than the current Xbox. It's saying this one can't, and it can't run. Yeah, that things. one cannot. When I was drive. reading up on it, it cannot. Yeah. Um, Whoa. But I have an issue with um, not having a buy disc tray. Um, well, check, yeah. check this out. Why would people even buy this when, when they're saying that they're updating the UI in the Xbox One X? Potentially, the Xbox One X is going to be more powerful than this console, is what it's sounding like, if you're saying that. Well... I feel like they went for the more you can afford this so you'll get it and we'll get rid of PlayStation people because everybody will buy an Xbox. But what they really did is here's a piece of crap. You're going to hate us because we sold you a piece yep. of crap and I we're going to go like buy this, a PlayStation. This is going to be This um, is not going to be the way they want it to be. Yeah, I this promise. is going to be their console, that one console that they're not going to really sell any of. You're going to have your hardcore Microsoft nerds collect this. Um but other than that, it like I said doesn't show for uh, doesn't show in 4K. Um, it doesn't have a disc drive, which to me personally, I I it's like awful. collecting discs. Yeah, I like having um, discs. Well, um, neither is a lesser version of the yeah, PlayStation. I don't 5. appreciate Dead Arm Kitten in the chat saying the PS5 looks ugly. If you look at this compared to the PS5, <laughs> come on. Well, man. I don't know. Do, do, I, looks like do, a I, like, do I like the oscillator like the again, or do I like the guys. big speaker? It, yeah, it literally looks like a speaker. It looks like a Bluetooth. Yeah. I just might as well put a place it on my desk. It hey, looks Xbox, like Xbox. Can you play games? Uh, no. I yeah. <laughs> look, I'm just saying. When I come it's in just, my it's bedroom, just I'd rather not like walk in and look at something and immediately think to myself, "Is that thing about to ask me for my order?" Like um, <laughs> like on um, PlayStation. <laughs> That's a good one. Subject says that's a good McDonald's. one. McDonald's is that an Xbox <laughs> but, Series X S? No, but that's a drive through speaker. <laughs> on PlayStation, at least they have a rumor that you can change the outer plates. You can change the colors on it. It has not yet been confirmed, they, but I can and... see them doing it. I can Make see them, them gold, doing it. maybe. Um, I, I, maybe see, gold. We'll see. I don't see um, but the th the thing that just bothers me is the pr is that they're trying to say. 
that it that it it cuts the ever increasing cost for cutting edge technology, but also gives you great value in that compromise. But that's I feel like that's wrong, man. I feel like you got to like li- listen, you got to spend money, man. If you want something yeah. that's worthwhile, you have to spend if you buy a six hundred dollar pre-built PC right now, I promise you it's got a processor from like 1985, dude. Like there's something that they cut corners on in there to sell it to you for six hundred dollars. Oh, they the, have the to corners... make a profit off of what they're selling to you. Yeah. The corners that were cut is everything in that is half. Yeah, if, but um, that's, half that's the problem of, though. Than what's in the um, original Xbox. They're trying to just they're doing like a budget PC builder thing. And just like oh, you yeah. said, yeah. um just just like you said, if you pay six hundred dollars for a computer, you won't be able to play games. You might be able to, but on the lowest quality. Um yeah. that's a pre build. Um what, you got at least this, what about you add this to X Cloud? So what this do you mean? plus xCloud, because xCloud is going to stream games directly to it. So if you have that, I mean, if you're just looking for like, hey, I just want to get access to xCloud from my TV, this might be your better option because but xCloud is going to stream only, it to it. But it I feel matter. like that's it's only 1080p thing. though. Yeah, like I don't. No one really has 1080p TVs anymore. 4K is kind of like a. What kind of money it, do you think people have? 4K well, it's not, cheap. It's not, it's, it's not the. It's not the, the the money that they have. It's just that like if I. Listen, bro. If I'm if I've I'm gonna pay for this, TV in if, my life. if I'm if I'm gonna pay for this, you know, or or maybe mom gets this because she thinks that this is the new one that comes out, and it's like actual yeah, that's crap. The like, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to play this, bro. I would not want to. If I already have an Xbox One X or an Xbox One or whatever, or a PS4, and I'm switching to Xbox, I don't feel like I want this as my upgrade uh like well even the xbox one original not the x can play 4k it plays sure. videos in 4k so i don't understand and their move to so take why that would this be a step back you know See, yeah. what, like this is basically they just they that. gutted a bluetooth speaker they put xbox components in it and then they sold it on wish <laughs> yeah yeah, but like look at what movie, big this is literally a, a a next gen xbox emulator off of wish <laughs> <laughs> like, look what Fake Sense said. It he plays said, the game. The That's it. Controller. They're using the same controller as the Xbox One. They're they're not even giving you a new controller. No, it. they are. It's the it's got the new button in is the middle. It? You can see it. Yeah, that's the, the new, new button. Yeah. Oh, it looks, sweet. Yeah, it's got like basically the new so controller. Cool. It's the same thing. It's got a but new button. Other, in it. other than that, it's it's. I don't think it's worth it. And Sims, just so you know, you can get a 36 inch 4K TV for only like two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars. It doesn't That's have like to what be. you spent on a monitor too. So yeah, it's really about like, the same price. Right now, the monitor I'm staring at right now was four dollars. <clears throat> I'm not telling it's not four K, but it's a gaming monitor. But yeah, yeah, but it's still. I mean, that could still be a lot of money for people. I mean, like at the end of the day, no, yeah. for sure, for I sure. Mean, but if you're so, gonna, if you're going to go out of your way to spend a lot of money in your price range, three hundred dollars on save, this thing, I would rather you save that money. And buy something that's actually worth those three four hundred dollars, yeah. bro. This is not worth that three hundred. This is not worth three hundred. I this mean, if you have six hundred and you just wait till you have four hundred more dollars, you go from a PC that can't run a game to a PC that can run literally any game on max settings. Which yeah. one do you choose? Yeah. Which one do you honestly choose? Do you choose to be frustrated with the thing that you wanted to buy quicker, or happy with the thing that you took longer to buy? And even with that, even if you have a thousand dollars, if you <clears> save up a five hundred more, you can get a PC you that can. can that's game on highest quality, and you can stream at the and same time. And you can time. stream on it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. There's exactly. it's all it's there's no point in buying lower because I can get it faster. That's that's well, literally like literally the worst if you're already lesson. Three hundred dollars for something, you might as well pay five hundred and get something that's and get, actually and get the makes actual sense. good thing. Yeah. yeah of course. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. But that was my, always Just my biggest argument that they were money. saying that it was going to be cheaper or whatever. Nothing in this world is cheaper, bro. If you're getting something cheaper, it is worse. I'm I when it comes to components and trying to match PCs, etc., whatever they were talking about, you cannot cut corners with money. It is not yeah, going it, to work. It, down to it, you get what you pay for. Yes, 100%. All right. Well, yep. speaking of getting what you pay for, I'm right. ready for this. I'm ready for that this. Was perfect. Uh, we're going PS5 back to Minecraft. Free orders <laughs> open this week. Dot dot dot. Starting at eight thousand dollars for a twenty-four karat gold console. This is by Robert Ramsey, coming from Push Square. Uh, good news, everyone. You can finally pre-order your PS5 this week. But the bad news, everyone, not really. Truly exquisite, an item uh, personalization company that has targets to the super rich 
will begin taking pre-orders for its previously reported PS5 console on September 10th. Console pre-orders will start at an eye-watering $8,000, 8,000 euro, actually, that merge... It's $10,427. $10,000. $10, that merge... Of, I, um, <laughs> that just so you know, not, Dead Arm Kitten, oh. um, you tell me that looks ugly compared to the last thing we just saw? Come on. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> I'm going That's to right. agree and say yes. And I reiterate my statement before that they're both hideous. <laughs> uh, that meager amount gets you a 24 karat PS5 digital edition. It's just a digital yes. edition? Remind them of yeah. Ghost Rider. Only digital. Sure. Only digital. Oh. oh, come on, dude. Uh, bargain. You can also get caught up for a golden Ooh, dual sets controller. controller for $700, a golden PS5 headset for $400. You know, honestly, I, it looks like Snoop Dogg's Wi Fi router. Hey. Uh, yeah, it looks like it this, belongs to Dubai somewhere. I feel, well, I feel like this is I feel like this is the opposite of the conversation we just finished hey, having exactly. about spending. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. this is too, too much money on this. this too, is much. too much money. Yeah. Um, coming <laughs> from me, gold. even a PlayStation Five fan. Is it real gold much. or is it painted? Um, because I swear, if I take off plated. that top and the it's, bottom no, of it, it's not. No, it's plated. It's plated. Um, but now. What was not in that article is that, yeah, you can get that 24 karat um, plated gold um, PlayStation 4, but you can also get, instead of that, you can get a plated 18K rose gold PlayStation 4 for $10,552, or you can get a plated platinum PlayStation for ten thousand six hundred and eighty-two $682. Just spend the extra 600 get the you platinum. Might, you imagine, you imagine opening the box and dropping it? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, like, hey, or the UPS guy, way. the UPS yeah. guy handling those packages, hey, you know, just, just think of it this, down the line. Yeah, just think of it this way. Yeah, they're limited, but the person who's buying this has so much money that they don't ha know what to do yeah, with it. Yeah. They're gonna drop and be like, "Well, I'll just buy a new one." Yeah, that's yeah. literally what's gonna. Do be. you really say that? I'm one of the only 10, people that can buy it anyway. Dude, I, don't, listen, if, bro, I don't care if, if you're I win. Kanye West. Are you gonna care if you're ten thousand yes. dollars PlayStation? I don't care if I win a billion dollars right now. If I drop ten k and break it, ten k. If I could tell you right now, if I had a billion dollars, I would know. I like if if I had a billion dollars right now, just for the hell of it, because I would not know what to do with all that money. I'd probably burn ten k. That's it's illegal. Not, that's that's I, jump change. I don't, I don't, but, but the, at the that thing point. is that 10, 10K <laughs> is chump change at that point, but I think if you know what a dollar is and you've been under the, like, I have 50 bucks for the week, yeah. I don't yeah. think you'd oh, go yeah. to burning 10K. Those people aren't going to be buying this PlayStation, though. This, yeah. you got, no, this I'm is saying, like, I think he's saying if you've item. ever been from those, like, roots. Oh, I yeah, get it, but, but those people most still people, aren't paying, paying that. Yeah, most this people that have a billion dollars aren't from the roots that don't we're care. a part of. I get. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's. Yeah. Fair. I guess, I guess that's, that's fair, but yeah. still, there are some people out there, sins. But majority of people who are billionaires have had it's a golden spoon in their mouth. Yeah, it's a uh, it's yeah. family money that's been continued yeah. to pass down and pass down, pass down. Um, like money's uh, just making money back. So yeah. this is not for the person who's like, oh man, I made two or three million. I started, you know, rags to riches type of people. This is for the people who are just so out of touch, like. Yeah, that, that they, the, they don't care. They don't yeah, care. this is for the people who want to show off that they have money. They're the assholes who are like, I have money, you don't go fuck. Yeah. Uh, for the yeah, one hail wonder SoundCloud rapper that doesn't go anywhere after See, 10 years after but the even, one hit. But even if you want to show off, I feel like you don't He's get He's going to be the one that, that drops it and be that, that gold headset ain't any better than the one you're wearing right now. Or no, any, any, any better than the regular PS5 yeah. headset. I, I oh, can tell you right now, the, the PS4 headset itself is not really that good. So I'm hoping the PS5 headset's uh, a lot better. It's still not going to be that good. I got a pair of PlayStation 4 <laughs> Golds <laughs> behind me right I'm now those things cost a hundred dollars and they're terrible they're not know, good. that's so, yeah. that's why i say yeah, playstation 4 headset it works, it works just fine i'm i'm using it right now and i have zero issues with it well no, but I mean, like, I'm, no, 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 not, sucks, not that but... you have issues with it i'm saying if you want to show off that you have money you get like a good pair of bows or like an yeah. actual sony headset you don't get a but playstation it's... Headset. Yeah, and not to mention and, for a hundred dollars, you can get a hell of a lot better than the speaker quality and the mic quality that comes in the yeah. PlayStation Gold. I, I, I was about Christmas to say Pro. for the PlayStation Four headsets, something if you're gonna play something like Call of Duty or something, and you want to hear the footsteps of them crouched or whatever, you're not gonna buy that PlayStation Four headset. No, sure. you're not. 
You're gonna buy a way better headset. You're gonna buy like a super expensive pair of Astros, a pair of Bose, yep. a you real like a pair of Sony MDXR like base boosted like, headset. LG just came out like, like one. some so, some Steel Series, something. You're gonna I buy have, something way better. Yeah, what I have, Total Beaches, are like the bottom of the line for that. Um, they're wireless or whatever. It does have superhuman hearing mode and bass boost, but I could get so much better, and I got to adjust settings on this thing to get it to where I want it, in a way. So, I, okay. I, I just I just don't feel like this is a this is a I have money and you don't kind of post. I feel like this is a I go to your house and I see this and I'm like, you really spend 10k on this, bro? Yeah. Like, you, but, li- listen, 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 bro. I know you got money. Us, you spent 10k on this. <laughs> Yeah, but being us, we're not used to that. Like I, I lived paycheck to paycheck a, a way, um, before all this, and we're not used to that. I could tell you right now, if I went into someone's house, me as I am now, and saw that, I'd be like, "You bought a 10k, uh, well, you bought a 10k PS5 one. It looks cool, but dang, can you give me some money? Yeah. Obviously, you got it. <laughs> so." Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, that's fair. I mean, it's kind of it, for me. It, it, it is very biased it. because none of us are just, you know, splitting at the seams with money. So I, yeah. we can't. We don't have that perspective. Yeah. But yeah. even even it, if I was rich, I feel like if you bought this, it's dumb because it doesn't even give you a bang for your buck. It's just expensive for the sake of being expensive. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. I'm it's sure really that. a PlayStation Five just painted it's in gold. Probably got a thousand dollars worth of gold on it, and they're selling yeah, it for ten. Exactly. So, uh, all right. Well, let's let's kind of wrap up this podcast. For uh, sure. D- has there been any questions in the chat, Crispy, that that need to be addressed before we we move on to the end of the? I think we've been answering them as we were kind going. of been answering to go. So yeah. um, and then we are going to be rating. Um, well, fake sense asked um how much, fake sense asked how much um, how many of PS fives are they making of that? And I think it's only like a hundred to be honest. Yeah, or something like not many, but that's all they gotta make. Uh, yeah. Not me. No, two, 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 well, two hundred and fifty pieces. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's the kit. Yeah, two hundred and fifty. They they have this all mapped out, so they're making hella money off of this. I guarantee it. I oh mean, yeah, like, I mean, this is what we're we're gonna sell out of this. We're gonna make this. I'll, so I'll, I'll slap an Apple logo on an avocado and tell you it's the new Apple avocado for seven hundred and fifty dollars, and you'll yeah, buy it anyway because exactly. I said so. Gold, gold so. You won't you won't so. get my sale because I'm an Android <laughs> fan. So. <laughs> No, fair, and listen, I run Android too, but if you put Apple on anything, people will spend a thousand dollars on it. Oh, amen. Sure. I know that. <laughs> so, so crispy, just real quick, who are we, who are we going to be rating, by the way? Hey, oh, Asian girl, yes, she, yes. Oh, okay, Our, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's. She was, let's she was slinging the she, subs. Definitely got to show was, back that yeah, love for sure. Yeah. Not 100%. that you, not that we encourage buying your way into things here, but please don't. Out of. Out of generosity, we do. We will we'll go ahead and hit up Asian Grilled Cheese pan- channel for stay along to that. All right, everyone. This that is our show. Uh, I want to thank Crispy, Nerdy, Demonic, and Sins for helping me out today. Uh, you have just watched the Streamers Unite official podcast, where each and every week we are here to discuss the latest gaming and streaming news. Uh, I want to sincerely thank every single one of you for being in the chat here today. You all are awesome. I couldn't ask for a better community. And I also wanted to thank uh, Motley the Crown, Crispy, and Mystic Donkey for production because they truly put crazy amounts of work into this before we go live. So uh, every week you've noticed all the overlays have been changing. Uh, We're kind of still working that all out, but that's all hard work that Crispy, uh, Motley, and Donkey have been doing. Also, shout out to to Foxscape for uh, doing those animated overlays. He does great work. You can commission, if you want overlays like that, you can commission it through our uh, des- our design commission part in the Discord. So uh, just let us know if you want something similar or anything like that. Uh, we also do all sorts of other stuff in there, but that's beside the point. Thank you so much to you, you three, Motley, Crispy, Mystic Donkey, and Fox for, for making this all happen. And then I want to thank every one of you for, uh, for being here. And uh, happy streaming, everybody. Thanks so much. Awesome. Hey, yeah. good job, everybody. Oh, wait, before we leave. <laughs> oh, where are we? Okay, never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, I just wanted to ask real quick, what's, real quick, Nerdy, what, when are you streaming next? Oh, when am I streaming next? Uh, to be determined, unfortunately. I apologize. I still don't know what my schedule, so. No worries. Oh, uh, Sims? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> Sims is going to be up in 30 minutes. Demonic, when are you streaming next? Um, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Central Thursday. Standard Time. Perfect. And is. I will be up tonight at, at 1030 uh, Pacific time. So, um, all right, y'all. Thank you so much. We're going over to Asian Girl G. 
We appreciate you all and have a great, great night. Happy streaming, everybody.